What's up guys? It's been a while. We haven't uh, been able to make as many videos as we'd probably like to because uh, me and Owen work a ton, but we're get, it's four or five o'clock right now. We're, um, we're about to go out musky fishing. Um, yeah, it's real rainy, it's dark out. Well, it's nighttime still, so it's not, you know, but there should be some good, uh, some good cloud cover today, so hopefully we can uh, put a few fish in the boat. We're going to be throwing some newer baits, and um, yeah, it should be fun, so stay tuned. Update. Like what? Update trail cam here. What do we have here? I'm not too shabby. Get to see Jack's face. Ready? Oh! Look at that old slugger! <laughs> oh, I think he's got kickers! Tripes! Any more? No. I'll tell you what. That was Get just back. now, dude. Get back over there. I'll tell you what, it might not. I'm the best rack, but look at them loins. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. Okay, guys, we're here at the ball landing. Um, yeah. Off and on showers today, so it's gonna be a little wet, but we got all the rain gear on, and it should be a good day. So hopefully we catch them. Let's get going. Jack, here we have to we have to introduce a new. Item here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so just wait. I'm just wondering. Uh, does this thing come with the boat here? No, no. <laughs> Funny question, Owen. No. This is a custom-made tackle box. Um, you can actually uh, store all your things in there. Look at that. It's not quite done yet, but um, yeah, I made it out of some uh, wood, some carpet, so. It's a nice little weekend project for me, but did all the wood burning myself. So, yeah. Oh. Well, looks pretty good. I don't know, I like this cloud cover. We're gonna hit some uh, hit some weed, weed edges, and um, yeah, hopefully we can move a fish here. I got a few spots marked out. Um, so, you never know, it's musky fishing. Woo! Okay guys, so, what I pretty much have going on here is uh, two Garmin graphs. I got, as you can see here, I got just like, bird's eye view mapping of the lake and then I usually go to a side imaging on this top graph and what this is allowing me to do is although like I try to keep the boat usually it depends on the area I'm fishing but usually in 12 feet in this particular part I'm actually going to be in more like 20 to 30 feet but I'm casting on to like six feet with cabbage and stuff so you can see on this side imaging you can't really see it very well here but um once we get to the part that we're actually going to be fishing, I have it out to 82 on each side. You're going to be able to see, like at 6, I like it to be at like around 30 feet away from the boat. That's where you want to be, you know, cat. that's where I like to see the cabbage and stuff. And that's pretty much where those fish are going to be sitting. So, using both of these graphs together is pretty much how I navigate a lot of these fish. and uh, Or not fish, navigate a lot of these lakes. and. Yeah, so 
um, bait that we're gonna be starting off with. What is this thing? Where did you get this? Oh yeah, this just yeah, brand new, you know, water. custom made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. We still have organizing to do. Yeah, we do. This is temporary. Early morning issues. Oh, where is it? Oh yeah, there. These baits, I gotta say, I'll put them right here. We got, I think this is the baby beaver. These are ba beaver baits for you guys that don't know. Um, I absolutely love these things. They're an awesome uh, pull pause bait. It's just something the fish haven't really seen much. So you got your baby ba baby beaver right here. I love this color, the the green with black. I think any bait with green and black on it is usually good. Um, this bait, you can see the head's pretty chewed up. I've had a lot of fish on this one. And then um, this one I just bought, but I think this is also a good color. But the main thing that you'll notice is, uh, so beaver baits, they allow you to make some changes to their baits. There's three main parts of the bait. There's, you know, the head part, the middle part, and then there's the end part. You can see they're all connected there. And then you can take this last hook, which usually has a beaver tail like that, which is awesome. I love the beaver tail, but I wanted to try something a little different. They get so, kind of chewed up, don't they? Yeah, they get chewed up. Eventually, this one actually fell off, but um, you can put this, this uh, you know, blade. blade on it, pretty much. And then another thing I like to do is the fish love, they always hit these baits in the head, it seems like. So I'll add, it comes without a hook here, but I'll put a little swivel right here. And then I'll put another hook up here. And one tip here I'll give you quick is, when you're putting these baits on the rod, you pretty much want to make sure that this this, you want this to be connected to your leader. You don't want to, you know, connect it through there or have the hook on this side. You want the hook down. You take your leader, move it through the top of that bait, right like that. And then this is how you're going to work these baits. There's a few different ways you can work them. This is how I've had the best luck. I'm going to wet my line here quick. So how I've had my best luck is just pull, pause, pull, pause, really making sure that I'm not leaving slack in the line. Most of the time those fish are going to hit on that pause. They're going to hit right when that bait is hung up, right when you're done, right about there. That's when I usually have them hit. So. You really want to make sure you don't have any slack in the line and you can feel that bite so you can uh, set the hook. But you can see how this bait looks in the water. I mean, that blade really adds a lot of, uh, keep going, keep going. a lot of cool vibrations and stuff like that. So it's just a little something different you can do with the bait. Um, yeah. So let's get fishing. Let's actually. get fishing. Fish. I don't know what it is. Oh, it was a little musky. Well, it was a little one. Yeah, that's alright. Probably 28 inches. Yeah. Not worth our time. Maybe they'll turn it on. Maybe. That was a musky though for sure. Oh. 
We can put that in the video though. Right? Us? Oh look at this. Us, what the dude, heck yeah. is that? Is that a crib? No, I'm saying that fish. Oh yeah. Gosh, I just didn't get a good hook set. I don't know what I... Oh my god. Oh, look at that thing! So, it's a little bit later in the day. So, pretty much what happened, guys, is uh, we're running all this camera stuff. You know, we got stuff here. And we chose to hook up a graph, our new graph. We have two graphs up there and a graph right there. We decided to hook this one up to the engine uh, motor or battery which which also is the also yolo is on the yolo stick this thing sucks up a huge amount of power <coughs> usually it'd be fine but the two of them combined actually caused our battery to die so we had to contact some people that we knew on the lake they had to come out get their uh they had the pre we had to jump start the boat pretty much go home um we Take had to charge nap. it yeah so we, we wanted the fish hours. all day, but we we're, were on two hours of sleep and we thought we might as well uh, take a nap. So now we're we back We nap, out. charged the battery, and we, uh, we, we weren't fishing when it was dead calm and sunny out. So now we got some waves coming in. Look at that. That's, that's what I like, too. We got some cloud cover. Cloud cover. Some rain. Some chop. Some prefrontal muskies. Um, so it's golden hour. It's much. golden hour. We're fishing the windblown edge here. We're in about 15 feet. This um, track, we're gonna five. trace this track here. Yep, so let's get baits in the water and um, <laughs> cast our arms off. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yep. It's a little far again. Shit. You little. Go! Oh, sly. First try, baby. Sly kitten. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, folks, um, the storm's passed. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's get some musky. Cripes. There, let's get out of here. Okay, what's up guys um yeah I'm gonna be honest with you guys we're struggling right now we've gone the last muskie we saw was last night and I don't even think it was interested in our lures it was just kind of sitting there and then um we also had that fish that we lost pretty much both side yesterday morning so we're we're going on just about 24 hours of not having much action so um you know, oh, there's a deer. <laughs> we're uh, we're feeling a little down in the dumps about our our musky fishing adventure, so to speak. But uh, we're going to a new body of water. Um, it's a smaller lake, so hopefully we can uh, throw some rubber and stuff and have some luck. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't really know what to do, honestly. It's just kind of. We're getting to the point where I feel like we just need to keep casting and eventually we're going to get one. But that's musky fishing, so stay tuned.
It's on. Fish. That one. Keep going. Switch direction. Cast back at it. That was a must. You see the white. What side do you want me on? This side. Here, come around on this. Okay. I'm gonna come around here. Get on my right, left side. Yeah, it's fishing. Cool. Yeah, it's fishing. It's fishing. Whew. <gasps> Figure eight musky, guys. Well, guys. This fish, um, yeah, we worked hard for this fish. We haven't seen a fish in like 18 hours, and she hit on the figure eight, so and then get it back. Oh, little torpedo. She's ready to go, guys. So. We're gonna keep fishing, that's our second fish in five minutes, so now it's Owen's turn. <laughs> okay guys, um, we are just going back now. Uh, yeah, we had that one fish that completely missed Owen's top water. I don't know, just just missed it, but um, and we ended up catching that one on the bucktail um, in the figure eight, so yeah, I mean, we worked pretty hard for those uh, fish. We've been fishing the last, geez, what, has it been in the last three days, would you say? Yeah. yeah, and we've just, it's been real slow. We've The last fish we moved was like two days ago. And um, so, yeah, we worked hard and uh, yeah, we got one in the boat. So I guess that's always a good thing with musky fishing. But yeah, thanks for watching. So that's all. Uh-huh. <laughs>